Hey guys, in this tutorial, let's take a look at what will it take to create really fast uh, these type of uh, chords. And these are uh, chords that could be, or wires that could be used maybe on a spaceship or um, a character, you know, like a robot or a Mac. So what would be a really fast way to do it in Maya? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything I have here. And um, I'm gonna delete my outline as well. I'm going to leave these two uh, cubes for now. So to do this, um, all you need to do is create a tube. And if you go into your attribute editor, you can change maybe make it a little less dense. So something like that. And maybe we can add some height. So I'm going to give it all 50 just because I want my cord to be kind of long in this example. Okay, then I'm going to press Control D. Press Control D again. Press it again. And I'm going to take this middle guy and press Control D again. And as you can see, I created kind of a tube of cords. Something like this. Okay. Next, I'm going to select all of them and go to uh, modeling, deform, nonlinear, and do a twist. And let's go ahead and just twist these guys. So something like that is what I was looking for. Now I'm gonna just simply, while everything is selected, I'm gonna go to edit, delete all by type, delete history. So now the chords are sort of baked into pose, right? I'm gonna select all the chords and come and simply combine them as one mesh. All right, now let's create a flow, a path for our chords. So for that, I'm gonna go to curves, grab my EP curve, and just like I had in my previous example, I'm just gonna create some kind of a funky shape for my chords. And of course I can adjust the points at any time if I wanted to. You know, you can move it around even after uh, we assign the shape to the path. Okay, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and go to object mode. So I'm going to click my um, shape here, hold on the shift key and click on the path as, a, as my second selection. Then I'm going to go to animation, deform, and click on curve warp. Once I've done that, I can come here into my attribute editor and I can actually change my um, setting here where it says keep length. Let's go ahead and click that. And you can see that the cord automatically sort of snaps into position. And right now I still have it as a low poly. There's more settings here that you can play around with, but I just wanted to show you like a quick and easy way of doing it. And you can see that the chords look really cool because they're all twisted together. So it looks a lot more uh, complex, right? If I wanted to, of course, I can go to modeling and do a quick smooth that will give me more geometry and make the chords look smoother, right? Okay, so now let's just simply uh, position these straight into the cube. So for that, I'm just going to select my uh, mesh, my, not my curve. I'm going to go to my channel box here and I'm going to create a layer and set my chords to a template so I could see them, but I'm not going to select them. Then I'm going to right, right click on my curve and let's go to control. Um, let's go to edit point, grab our point and just simply drag it. Let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, so the cool thing is, as you can see, you can adjust the chord as you wish. So you can make it any shape you want. And this is a really cool and easy and fast way to create really complex chord scenes or add detail to your uh, character. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, subscribe for more tips and tricks. All right, thanks for watching.